먼지투성이 Hands are trembling right now Right now Deep blue water sea Afraid of jumping in right now Right now I'm better than me no song 걱정이 많이 있어 I'm It's a bit of love man It's a little tough yeah. 담배를 물고 있어 생각이 너무 깊어 wow. It's looking too deep It's a little rough yes. Overthinking if I belong But I'm where I need to be Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you're not new here, you may notice that I am playing with my setup a little bit more. Uh, these guys all have eyes and it makes me go in and out of focus. We may have to abandon the stuffies, which sucks because I, I really love them. In any case, uh, this morning you guys may have noticed that I didn't get my weigh in because the scale was dead. It is charged now, but I'm not going to weigh myself because I'm looking for trends at this point. And the trend for me is to weigh myself right after waking up, before I have my coffee, before I have more water. That's fine. I can skip a day of weighing myself. I can still do an average off of six days. So rather than weighing myself later or using the previous day's weigh-in, I'm just going to average it by six. I think that'll make it more accurate. Uh, I also started cramping up when I was on the treadmill. I make sure I hydrate. I make sure that I stretch before doing exercises. I just needed an extra stretch this morning. I needed to take it easier on the treadmill. I've been doing an incline of two because I have goals for hiking now, but my body didn't want to do that today. So just had to reduce the speed and decrease the incline. My goals are kind of ever changing, but I don't want to push myself to get to those goals and ruin my chances of getting to those goals, <laughs> if that makes sense. My overall goal is to be healthy. So if I am injuring myself, I'm just going to have to take more time away from exercising. And if I'm pushing myself to extremes, that's also not very healthy. So just, just readjusting, taking small little steps to listen, have accountability, still try and get to all those goals, but doing it at my own pace, my own needs. <laughs> and speaking of adjusting, we've got like one more week in Vlogmas in July, and I was really hoping to get over my plateau during this time. I was hoping I would be more accountable, maybe recognize some things that I'm doing wrong. I'm not really. I honestly think I've been pretty good, and I'm not really seeing that plateau go away. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tweak a little bit more here. I am noticing on the progress pics that my definition is becoming more clear. My scale is also letting me know that my muscle mass is increasing. These are all things that are very important to know when you're kind of on your last leg of it. That's why progress picks weren't really that important to me when I first started out because I was obese and now I'm in the acceptable range and the goal from acceptable to fit, the weight is not going to always depict the full story. <laughs> that's the best way I can put it. The scale isn't always gonna tell me my protein levels. Wait, no, that's a lie. My scale does. It actually does tell me that I've increased my protein. Um, but I was gonna say like tracking my macros as far as that is what will tell me that I increase my protein. Progress picks will show me more definition. The scale will not. Actually, the scale kind of does with the increased muscle mass. I don't know where we're going with this. Get yourself a good scale. It's a combination of stuff to paint the whole picture. And while I am happy that I'm seeing definition, I'm happy that I'm seeing my ability to move around more, the fact that it's easier to plan meals that I know are nutritious and delicious. And yes, I will keep saying those words because I think they're very important. If you're eating with the mindset of food is fuel, but you love food, it's not sustainable to everyone. So I need the nutritious and delicious. Uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, Michelle, stop interrupting yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, what I was gonna say was that I need to tweak a little bit more, I think. So I attempted to do a only chicken for a week diet. Don't do it, it's horrible, never do that. 
I've been on a diet for a long time and I couldn't handle it. And most of the videos I've watched also didn't have an enjoyable time. It will derail your diet horribly. Don't do it. But I did recognize that chicken was giving me bursts of energy. It was giving me a lot of protein for not a lot of calories. And it was helping keep me satiated throughout the day. So even though the diet was horrible, I did take away some things from that and I had promised myself to have one meal a week consisting of chicken and broccoli. I haven't been doing that. It's not a hard thing to do. I just don't know why I haven't been doing it. I'm gonna start doing it. And for me, a schedule is very important. I have to stick with a routine. I have to say on certain days I am doing this and there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, there are some ifs, ands, or buts, but for the most part, no. So I'm setting it for myself. Monday evenings are my chicken and broccoli meal. Hopefully that will help me out a little bit. Wow, I keep forgetting what I was saying today. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about cleaning. I have to clean. <laughs> I keep the, I wanted to talk to you guys first, but I, I my brain is not focusing on, on the, the, the main task that is right in front of me right now. But I think the last thing I wanted to mention was that my goals have been more fluid. I used to be very strict about my rules and I've recognized that they kind of need to be fluid as well. The long-term goal has changed from its original long-term goal, which was more vanity based. I wanted to look good and do things without my body getting in the way. And now my long-term goal is I want my body to be healthy. I want to feel great. I want to be at my peak physical fitness level. I, I want it to feel the best it ever could. And I want that to happen from me giving it the things it needs. <laughs> Nutrition, exercise, time outside, interacting with people, whether it be online or in real life. None of those things were my ultimate goal. It was, it was really just trying to get my body out of my own way. And now I want to work with it. I want to give it things. <laughs> it's very different from the original ideas that I had. And then for my short-term goals, those have also very much changed. I put myself at 125 being my ultimate end goal. Maybe that's not going to be it. Maybe I'll get so muscular that 150 will be it. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But I have changed it because I recognize that body fat percentage is what I want to reduce. The actual overall weight is not the main concern. I also learned that I like hiking and a majority of outdoor activities when I thought it was just kayaking. I kind of like them all, which is surprising to me. So hiking is now on the list. I'm increasing that incline so I can climb a mountain. Ooh, that reminds me. Another reason why I kind of am feeling a little bit of pressure to get that goal going is because we have put down the deposit for our Scottish boat trip thing next year. It is, it is in the books. The time is set. The reservations have been made. The deposit is non-refundable. And I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to see what the trip is going to be looking like for us. But it is us on a boat, an older boat, and they'll be sailing around Scottish Isles, finding us great spots to hike, and then hiking them for about eight days. So if I want to have the time of my life, I really want to get more practice in so that I'm not dragging people back, that I'm not complaining the whole time so that I can honestly say that the view was worth it. So yeah, I have gotten some long-term goals, some forever goals, and some short-term goals, and even some shorter than a year away goals. I don't like to set timelines, but if it's a goal for something, sometimes you gotta. I guess that the main point of this conversation was just to relay that I'm realizing kind of closer to the end of my journey, things have gotten easier, I'm more fluid with it, I'm less pessimistic about things, and I'm feeling like consistency is definitely paying off for my well-being overall. Mentally and physically, I'm, I'm in so much better spirits than when I started vlogging this journey. I mean, some of that has to do with the fact that I'm not on my period every week now, but I can also attribute it to it not being such a struggle anymore. It has very much become second nature to me at this point, a year and a half later. So even though I am stuck in a plateau, and I do mention it because I want you guys to know that I'm very well aware that I am in a plateau and I want to speak about it, my thoughts on it, but I also want to let you guys know I'm not worried about it. It isn't frustrating me the way it used to. These plateaus will be less upsetting because you can recognize certain trends, certain reasons. You can accept failures because they've happened so much already. And then you can recognize your ability to get over the failure and continue on and do your best. And failures are not readjusting, regrouping, taking some mental time. You know it when you have that failure. You feel it in your soul that you failed on something. Even if you didn't actually fail, your brain is telling you that something was failed. 
and it is getting over that hurdle of that thought process of you failed, but not really. Not if you keep getting up and trying. Was this too preachy? I don't know if this was too preachy. I just, I, I, I just really wanted to convey that if you're also struggling, I hear you. It is valid. It is so hard. It is not just, you know, you saying, oh, I'm hungry or, hey, I can't have a snack. It is mentally hard. It is very mentally hard. There is not the same privileges everyone has when it comes to weight loss. Each person's journey is their own journey. <laughs> and what I'm saying is working for me may not work for you. But in my experience, it does get easier. And that's kind of all I wanted to say. I've got to clean the house. I'll talk to you guys later. I got no money. Like it or not, I'm funny. Still in search of my destination. I like to party. Living my way is already. All I offer is my reputation. Hey, let's walk this way. into a sweater because it's cold in the middle of July. Well I say that but it's like 68 which is cold in July. I've got some chicken and broccoli on the oven. I'm gonna guess it's probably around 200 calories. I forgot to cook the broccoli and the chicken in separate containers so I'm just gonna weigh it all and kind of maybe take back a few grams but I'm gonna guess it's around 200 calories. I did add some teriyaki sauce. Also had an apple with some peanut butter because I didn't feel like I could hold off later until dinner. I love that snack. I also love a Greek yogurt, blueberry, and peanut butter snack. Peanut butter kind of seems to be my snacky food. Not a horrible snack food to crave, just very uh, calorically dense. So one tablespoon when snacking that for me. <laughs> I don't really have that much to say today. I've been like very focused on just getting stuff done. Kind of not a lot of thoughts running through my brain. Just kind of enjoying the inner peace a little bit. And I know that my vlogs are usually pretty upbeat. I do have some emotional moments. Um, that's not by design. That's just me being a lot happier, incorporating a healthier lifestyle. Weight loss journeys can be tough and mentally straining and you'll see a lot of emotional times during it through a lot of vloggers. But you'll also see that our moods can be elevated from adding more exercise, giving our body nutrients, it's not a cure-all, but um, I do expect that the more that you see someone do it, the more consistent they are with it, the more consistently happy they will be portraying themselves at least. And I mean, there would be a reason for it. It's because I don't have a lot of time to be upset anymore. I wake up at 5 a.m. naturally these days because I need that extra time in the day to get all the things done that I want to get done. There's just a lot of enjoyment that I'm getting out of things lately. I'm enjoying my exercises, I'm enjoying my meals, I'm enjoying getting out there. So I think that that's just going to reflect in my vlog style and the things that I want to tell you guys is that I feel really good, I feel really happy. I want to encourage more people to stick with it because the results are worth it. Again, I don't think a healthier lifestyle will completely fix everything. There is chemical imbalances, hormonal changes that happen during weight loss and other things. There's also personal trauma. I'll tell you straight up, I am less and less thinking about my own personal trauma because I am so busy in the day I can't even think about it. So many good things lately have been outweighing the bad things in the past. I will occasionally think about it, but it's not, but I'm not getting stuck in it like I used to. I'm just really out here having fun, enjoying life. Uh, we'll see what happens when winter comes and I can't go outside as much, but that's another day's Michelle to worry about. Today I'm just really happy. Okay, here's my dinner. I'm going to put it in at 350 calories. There was some soy sauce, there's some broccoli, and there are some toasted sesame seeds, which will up the calorie count, even with little amounts. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have added bean sprouts. It's not too late. I can add a sprinkling. I think it would taste yummy with it. All right, this is my dinner. <laughs> Just a sprinkling with the bean sprouts. I think it's a nice addition. 
Uh, with that being said, not much more to say. I just want to wish you guys a very happy day. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! I got